All right, so why would you use your brain when you've got a calculator? Let's use our calculator to these vector calculations. Two vectors here, and I'm going to find the dot product of them. I'm going into the run matrix here. I'm going into matrices vectors. And now I need to enter them both as uh, vectors. So I just need to change this M to V. And that'll turn them into vectors. Uh, press execute on the first one. And then you need to give the dimensions. So they'll all be either two by ones or three by ones. So this is a three by one. And then you enter your, your vector as three, three, four in this case. Okay. And I'll get out of there. And then do the same here for vector B, a three by one, uh, and it's one, negative three, and two, and get out of there, and get out of there. Now, those are now saved in our memory, and we can call on those vectors whenever we... All right, so now that we're here, we go to our options, and it says matrix vector, so we click on that, and we move across... A couple of times until we see vector here and these are all vector things. and the thing here that I want to do is a dot product so I can click on the dot product here and now I can click vector alpha a and then comma um, vector alpha B and now that's going to find the dot product of those two vectors there the dot product is two what about the cross product well, I could type it all in again, but I might just arrow up and then change this dot product to a cross product like that. Make sure my brackets link up and you can see it spits out my answer 18i, negative 2j, negative 12k. Now being able to find a unit vector is really easy. Uh, we just click this unit vector here. I'm just going to find the unit vector of u, which is a in, in the way that I've written this into my calculator. And you can see it spits this out, which is an exact value. Um, I could click SD and get some decimal answers if I want to get those, but these are probably better. Be a reminder when I'm out here like this, I go option, I go into the matrix vectors, I go two across, and now I'm at vectors. I'm going to find the angle between two vectors. So angle, and then I type in uh, vector alpha a, comma, um vector alpha b b and the angle between those two vectors is 84.74 if you're wondering like i was what happens if you do b a instead of a b you're going to get that same angle it's giving you the angle uh between those two vectors some stuff in 3d space this is really useful because it's hard to visualize 3d space so let's go over here down 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 to where it says uh, 3D graph. Now I'm going to do some simple ones here. I'm going to click type and we're going to do a line and we're going to do a plane. So just click on the line one here and you can see it's giving you this form x minus x zero of a, y minus y zero over b, z minus z zero over c. So it's giving you it in Cartesian form. Now you might want to write it in in Cartesian form in which case you're going to need all of those values and all of those values. But you could also type it in in vector form if you know your initial position and you know the direction vector there. Uh, what we've been calling A and D, they call R, O and V. To sketch this uh, equation of a line, it really is as simple as going over to our calculator, typing in 2, 3 and 1, typing in 1 and 2 and 2, and then hitting set and then you can see it's sort of giving you an equation here and then clicking draw takes a second and we get this line in 3d space now it's not much to look at here but this is the origin uh, and we can see that this is our little legend here so there's our y-axis there's our x-axis and there's our Z axis. You can also sketch a line that's passing through two points. So if I click type here and I do line again, I can choose two points this time, uh, one, two, one, and zero, negative two, three. And it will, if I click set here and then I draw it, it'll draw it for me. Now you might be looking at it saying, well, yeah, but what's good is drawing it. 
I can do a little trace on it here and I can move through it. Being able to move through it's really uh, good because you can figure out whether the point that you found is actually on the line that you were working with or not. More useful if you draw two lines, you can look at the two lines on your calculator and find places where they meet and things like that. Not only can we do lines, we can also do planes. So if I go to the type here and I choose plane this time, I can sketch an entire plane instead of just a line. Now you can see it gives you a couple of options here. It gives you the express, which is the Cartesian equation of a line. It gives you this strange one here that we don't really work with much. Uh, but then it also gives you um, through three points. So you can just type in three points and it'll give you what the plane through those three points would look like. Three points, I click set, I click draw, and I get a equation of a plane and I can kind of rotate that around and look at it and get a sense of what that looks like. All right, that's some neat stuff that you can do on your Casio when it comes to vectors uh, in 3D space.